guys, I am going to read A Friend for Lakota, uh, The Incredible True Story of a Wolf Who Braved Bullying. A lot of times in nature, um, small animals like the runt or weak animals are picked on by its, um, by other animals in their uh, pack or, um, I'm thinking of chickens and their little group of chickens. So um, this is an example of that in how Lakota overcame it. Spring blooms over the Sawtooth Mountains of Idaho. Wildflowers splash patches of bright colors across the meadows and the young wolf pup Lakota rolls in the fresh green grass. Lakota spends all day playing. He turns every rock, log, and stick into a toy. Sounds like a lot of kids I know. His days are simple and fun, but in a wolf's world, things can change quickly. Every day, Lakota also roams the forest and meadows with his brother, Kamoetz. The two wolves look alike, but their paws and their paws pad down different paths. Kamoetz fearlessly explores the forest. Lakota timidly follows. So timid means kind of um, slowly and kind of scared and definitely checking things out before he jumps in. Kamoetz investigates every noise. Lakota shrinks back from strange sounds. Lakota is shy and gentle, while brave Kamoetz shows the promise of a great leader. Aren't they cute puppies? Soon the first snowflakes fall over the mountains, covering the wolves' world in a thick white blanket. Lakota and Kamoets grow. Their lean, that means thin, legs stretch tall, and their fur coats thicken to keep them warm in the freezing air. As winter melts into spring, three new wolves join the brothers. Now, instead of just two, they are a family of five. They are now a wolf pack. <laughs> Every member of Lakota's pack has a job to do. Kamoetz quickly rises to be a strong leader. Amani causes trouble, while Motsi keeps the peace. Suddenly, Kamoetz lifts his head and lets out a long, Aroo! The rest of the pack gathers around him and joins in their howls, a chorus echoing in the mountain. By the following winter, Lakota too settles into his position in the family. Gentle Lakota never challenges the other wolves. His job is to help everyone play to get along. Easy to do when all the wolves seem to be in a good mood. Hmm, so right now it's easy because they're all in a good mood. I'm making a prediction that maybe at some point it's not going to be such an easy job to do. But one snowy day, as pack members chase one another, something happens. The wolves suddenly heap on top of Lakota. They snarl in his face. Lakota whimpers and drops to the ground as low as he can go, waiting timidly for the pile of wolves to retreat. Retreat means go away. Poor Lakota. Look at the expression on his face. He looks scared. Just a few days later, it happens again, and then again. Before long, Lakota is being picked on all the time. One wolf nips at his tail, another jumps on him, another pulls on his fur. Motsi doesn't join the other wolves. He doesn't jump on Lakota. He never pulls on his fur, but he watches. So this sometimes happens on our playground. Maybe you're not um, involved in picking on other kids, but you're watching. So what could you do instead of just watch. Could you maybe tell a teacher if something is happening? One day, Amani com confronts Lo Lakota in full view of the others. He growls deeply. Then he charges, that means runs at him. Rah! Lakota drops to the ground and trembling tries to crawl away. Trembling means shaking because he's so scared. But all of a sudden, in a whirl of fur, Matsi jumps between Amani and Lakota, letting out a loud snarl. Amani skids to a stop and backs off. There will be no picking on Lakota today. Yay, Matsi! Good job for protecting Lakota. I love it. Soon, Matsi and Lakota become the best of friends. In summer, they play tag and roll in the long grass. 
In fall, they race through the aspen leaves that float down from the trees. In winter, they pounce on a stream's newly formed ice to hear it pop and crack under their feet. The other wolves don't bother Lakota when he is with Motsi. Motsi won't allow it. <clears throat> Sometimes Motsi and Lakota wander off, away from the others. With just his friend, Lakota can finally run, jump, and chase like all wolves do. Lakota jumps on Motsi's back, his tail happy wa happily wagging back and forth. He whines at Motsi, inviting him to play. And Motsi always plays back. He seems to know this is what his friend needs. What a good friend Motsi is. As Lakota grows older and new pups join the pack, his confidence seems to soar. In time, the other wolves leave him alone. They stop picking on him. Lakota and Motsi stay best friends. Look at the puppy faces. Still, Lakota never seems to forget his past. He was at the bottom of the pile, but there was the friendship that Motsi gave him when no one else would. Sometimes the other wolves pick on the young ones, but Lakota never does. Lakota's home and where wolves live in North America. So here's North America. So this is this would be us in the United States. We're right here. There's Canada. So we no longer have wolves in Indiana. They were called it's called extirpated. They were extirpated from Indiana. That means they were killed off and um, or chased out. And so at one point in Indiana's history, we had um, mountain lions and wolves, but because people were afraid of wolves and mountain lions. Um, they killed them and chased them off. So those animals are not extinct, which means they're no longer anywhere, um, but they are extirpated, which means they're no longer in our state. So um, you can see that there are some states with wolves. Um, Wisconsin has some, Canada has some, a bunch, and Alaska, which is part of the United States, does have wolves. Uh, right here in the Montana, I Idaho, Wyoming place, uh, that's where the Sawtooth Mountains are, where Lakota's home is. Um, all about Lakota and gray wolves. Wolves are social mammals, like humans. That means they like to hang out with other wolves. They live in family groups known as packs. Wolf pups drink milk from their mothers. Dogs descended from wolves between 12,000 and 30,000 years ago. So that means that um, dogs... Uh, came from wolves. Both wag their tails and growl, yip and howl. Wolves are carnivores, which means they are meat eaters. Some of their favorite foods are deer, bison, elk, and moose, but they'll also eat smaller animals if their preferred prey is hard to find. A wolf can eat up to 20 pounds of food in one sitting. That's a lot of food. Gray wolves live in Alaska, USA, Canada, and parts of Europe and Asia. They were nearly hunted to extinction in most of the United States and Europe. In some places, such as Yellowstone National Park in the United States, wolves have been reintroduced successfully. That means um, there weren't wolves there, and then they brought some wolves from Canada and put them down in Yellowstone, and so they were put, re means do it again, and introduced means they showed them a place. So they reintroduced them to Yellowstone, and now they are back. In fact, um, Cedric, my son, is going to read a book about wolves being back. So look forward to that one. Um, but all wolves today still face many threats to their survival. Wolves vary in size, usually depending on where they live and what they hunt. Wolves in northern regions, like Lakota and his pack in Idaho, are typically larger because they feed on big animals such as elk and deer. Wolves in southern locations, such as Arizona, hunt deer and rabbits and can be a little smaller. Females usually weigh 60 to 75 pounds. So that's about the size of my dog, Jazz. Um, and she's asleep right now, so she's totally not paying attention to me. Um, and the males are larger and weigh up to 130 pounds. Uh, that is a lot more than my dog, so I don't know what to compare that one to. Fun fact, Lakota is a Native American word. In the Lakota Sioux language, it means friends or ally. 
All right, so this is not one that you can find. Well, maybe it is, I don't know. Um, maybe ask Mrs. Nickerson if this is in the Cedar Library. This is a book that we have here at my house because uh, Cedric, my son, really enjoys wolves. And so anything with wolves in it, we have. Um, so a friend for Lakota, uh, maybe ask Mrs. Nickerson if we have it at the public library or Cedar Library. And um, enjoy, see ya.